All right, today we're going to play around with some dry flies. It's raining outside, but it, there's sun in our heart and hope that we're going to get to start throwing some dries. Um, so we're going to tie a chubby cherub, our version of the chubby cherub. Uh, starting out with a size 6, 2x long. Like this hook, a little wider gap. This fly is uh, intended to hang a little bit fore and aft. So we're going to just start our thread. I'm using a 3 aught pretty heavy, just yellow thread, contrasting to the body color. Just get a good thread base on there. And what we're going to start with is uh, basically our Snake River Fly Lammy Foam. Been using this one for a long time. We've got it in lots of different colors. Here's a Stonefly sample pack. Um, works really nice for being able to add some float into your fly if you want it to float a little higher and dress it. or Works really nice if you don't dress it at all and lets that fly ride a little bit lower where stoneflies kind of typically naturally do. So we're just going to start this with uh, classic uh, salmon fly colors. Um, this is black over orange. And like I said, the yellow thread's going to give it some contrast underneath. We're not going to dub this like the standard chubby chirp. Uh, going to hang it out the back. I've already kind of shaped it a little bit. Just made it into a little chisel and hang it off the back about a quarter of an inch. With this foam, if you'll do a loose wrap, maybe two, and then pull straight down, you'll get a lot better anchoring on there. That's just attaching it. You know, later I'll go ahead and anchor that up. Um, for our rear wing on this fly, which this fly has a fore and aft rear wing, we're going to use some of our Grizz Frizz. Um, this comes in several different colors. Have it on the website. Um, when it's out of the pack, it's just a real nice, fine multicolored polypropylene and we're going to use a little bit of that I'm going to go ahead and cut full length strands off of this right up at the top and just pull the whole amount that I'm going to need for this fly like so I'm going to take about two inches of it and what I like to do on this fly is I'll put a little drop of glue on here if I'm tying these for the shop. Um, for me, I usually lose them before they, they fall apart. But I'm going to tie this material in right in the middle of the clump, like a bow tie. And then we'll take this forward clump and we'll fold it over to get a little button. And then we'll pull that button pretty tight. Like I said, and if you're concerned about that spot right there, definitely a uh, little head cement. Couldn't hurt. Then we're just going to clip this. This is going to represent the back of this overwing and also give the fly a lot of buoyancy. As you can tell, we're still spinning here, but that'll tighten up as we go. So now we're going to attach some rubber legs. We like using the silly legs on these. Um, you can use anything, but the silly legs really provide um, some nice translucency. Our version of silly legs are laser legs. Um, basically, you get a few more to pack. They're a lot more durable, and uh, they come in a lot cooler colors. So this particular one is bacon. Works great for the salmon fly. So we're going to go ahead and attach one of our, oops, attach one of our rubber legs over on this side, trying to get it right down there in the notch. I'm not applying a lot of pressure at this point. I'm just letting the letting the bobbin take the weight and let those legs fall in. Now I'm on the other side. Let those legs fall where I want them. Adjust them a tad. Now I'll give some tension on there and get a few good securing wraps in here. Okay, so now we can do basically the same thing. We're just gonna repeat these same steps forward. Um, I already colored the thread shank in thread, so I'll just go right back up it, keeping it nice and neat. We're going to come in just behind the eye, a little bit of room for a small head. And once again, we're going to pinch that foam down, loose wrap, loose wrap, pull straight down. That gets that attached for us. Then, like I said, if you wanted to, you could put a little dab of head cement here. I um, like to put that down just before I uh, just before I put the wing in, keeps it clean. Um, like I said, I usually lose my flies away before they fall apart. But if you're buying them from the shop, they come 
tied that way. Same thing, just a little bit more hair, same diameter, just a little more length. Make that loop, really easy to capture that if you make that loop. And then you can pull it tight to kind of get it out of the way. If you wanted to, you could do a little bit of dubbing right here. The standard chub definitely uh, uses the dubbing, but we find it really isn't necessary. Now another set of legs up front. Not a lot of pressure here, just letting it fall right in the notch created by the llama foam. That'll put them right on the sides for you. I know this fly has eight legs, but as far as we can tell, fish can't count. And this one's just a really good attractor pattern. Early salmon fly season, you know, we tie it in golden, we tie it in olives, we tie it in all the different cool summer hopper colors, purple, red, um, got quite a few different varieties on the site. Um, I like to whip off down underneath the foam. That gives me a little gap in there um, in case my leader gets twisted and trapped in there. I maybe have a chance of getting it out. And just whip finish that. And I won't do any of the overall trimming. Oops, I got my whip finisher. Until I'm all clipped off. Then we'll trim this Grizz Frizz wing, basically the same length as the back one. We'll cut this front section off square. And then if you want to get real fancy, you can nip it to look like the stonefly head. Not sure it's really super important, but if it looks better to you, you'll probably fish it harder and pay attention more. So nice thing about this one, you look at it from the side, it's pretty simple. Looks like a salmon fly, size is good. Lots of movement on the legs. I'll sell them like this or I'll pack them in my box like this and then I can clip them shorter on stream if I need to. But we get a pretty good looking belly here. Um, pretty nice yellow line with a little bit of segmentation in here. You could tie these another size bigger if you wanted. Um, I like to kind of overdress a smaller hook. They float a little better and fish tend to like the smaller ones I think a little better. I'll put a little glue right in the notches of where those legs are tied on. This is just hard as whole vinyl. And there you have it, the SRF Llama Foam Grizz Frizz Laser Leg Baconator Double. <laughs>